guys and thank you so much for joining me today please forgive the angle of the camera I am working on my um, setup when I'm doing my nails so you're really gonna have to excuse this so please 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 you know don't don't hold me don't hold me hostage for it so I'm doing acrylic today I know it's different I typically do poly gel on my channel but today I wanted to show you guys I've been working on my acrylic um, application and acrylic nails that I've actually been enjoying them a little more than I do poly gel sorry so I'm doing this pink set in honor of um, you know breast cancer awareness I do have a spooky set coming up but I definitely wanted to get the breast cancer awareness you know let's get serious before we start playing games um, so yeah so I'm using a couple of different acrylics on this set I used the uh, bubblegum by an acrylics 106 I believe it was by model one um, princess slippers by not polished and I think that's it and then of course um, I clear capped it with a cl crystal clear by an acrylics so right here I'm just applying my tips so I went ahead and did my prep and everything that's not the fun part the fun part is applying so right here I'm using a so I'm using the CADS K-A-D-S number 12 acrylic brush. Um, it's not very pretty, but let me tell you, this is the this is the one acrylic brush that has that I have that I own that has actually been working like so well. So I am not a professional. I just want to state that crystal clear. I do not have my certification in applying acrylic nails or you know I'm not a nail technician. This is just me working on my application on myself. Um, the only other person I do is my mother and um, that's because this is something that I'm just starting to develop a love for and I'm still in the process of deciding whether or not I want to do it professionally. So um, a little helpful hint here, uh, it's to keep your brush dry, not necessarily dry, but like make sure you get the acrylic off the brush before you continue. So the main color I'm using is called Bubblegum. This is by Ann Acrylics and it's a part of her Kawaii collection. Um, I really don't wanna to talk too much about application because like I said, I do not like the angle of this camera and I was trying to figure out you know, a good angle for my nail videos. But yeah, this definitely isn't it. But I still wanted to get this video out because I do have a spooky set and I do think that I have a better angle um, coming up soon. So I just wanna talk a little bit about um, you know me doing my own nails I have I used to go to a nail salon all the time and when I went I went for like a good 13 years and let me tell you they totally screwed up my nails like my nails don't even grow back the same I can almost never go without wearing nails oh but before I go any further I did just want to mention I'm doing a marble here on my index finger and I'm using a mixture of the bubblegum shade clear and the princess slippers by not polished because that is like a see-through pink and I'm just doing like swirl motions and yeah I'm marbling it and then I'm going to be adding some pink leaves in it because you know for fall so like I said I was getting my nails done for like a good 13 years and when I say like everything that you see online now that they tell you like professionals tell you nail techs shouldn't be doing that's exactly what nail techs were doing for me they were using MMA they were ripping my nails off instead of you know soaking them off like I've never gotten a soak off professionally I've always like if I have had my nails soaked off I did them myself I thought you were supposed to rip them off um, but yeah they used to rip my nails off and like it's to the point where my nail bed is so thin if I go without nails and like my nails will grow but if I go without nails without nails they're so brittle and thin they just break and then I have this thing underneath my nails which I think is called pterygium I'm not really sure I'll have it posted on um, on the screen but it's basically where the skin under your nails grows up with your nails so there were times where like they would cut my nail and they're trying to cut it short but you can't cut my nails too short and it would hurt and then also there'd be certain looks that I wanted to have 
but my nail techs couldn't execute it the way I wanted it. So they would say like, I remember the first time I wanted to get like almond shape. They were freaking round. I even looked at some of the pictures that I have in my phone of when I've got my nails done, like right after, and you could see like it's chipped on this side, it's not smooth at the bottom, and it's just like, bro, like I totally could have done this myself. It just looks so horrible, and it never looked the way that I envisioned it in my head. Um, now, let me, let me be 100% honest with you. I think what helped me be able to do um, acrylic was using poly gel first and pretty much focusing on the structure of my nails so that I am able to you know execute it the way that I want yeah so that's what's been going on here so I mean you guys are watching me marble right now and this is my first time marbling on my fingers on my own I've never really done it before so I'm extremely proud of how it came out. I will say that um, I'm also going to attempt 3D flowers in this one. And I ended up having to go over it twice. Like I'm at the point where I'm about to change my nails and everybody's like, didn't you just do your nails? Just because I think I probably changed the flowers like three times. So you'll see how it looks like the first one and then you'll see what it looks like. Um, or what it did look like before I finished so now I'm just like clear capping and then I'm gonna go on and move on to shaping so I'm using a 100 180 grit nail file I got a bunch of them off of Amazon so you know if I decide to do other people's nails which I've done so far I've done my mom's I do my daughter's nails and then I actually did one of my cousin's nails just recently I'll put a picture up of what her nails look like and I think I did a pretty good job so I might be on to something but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below I love doing my makeup of course but um I like to be like a jack of all trades you know I love to do makeup I like to do I, I hate doing hair but I like to do my own hair and then like I uh, when I say I love doing my nails, I love when it's nail day. I really do. So since this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I did want to, you know, do a little like homage, I guess. So I just got these stickers that I got from um, Etsy last year. And um, yeah, so I'm just sticking that on the nail. And then I'm going to add a couple of these little pink, uh, uh, I was going to say flakes, but leaves on that as well and then I'm going to clear cap that and then I'm going to move on to 3D. So for my 3D flowers, I'm going in with these Model 1 acrylic powder pigments, and this is in the shade 106, so it's this really pretty pastel pink. I wanted everything on my nails to be pink, including the flowers, so I'm not really going to show you how I did this. Well, I am. I'm just going to speed through it because I'm. this is definitely not a tutorial for this. This is actually the first attempt, and um, I hated it, so... Yeah, you'll you'll see how that comes out and then later on I'll change it and I'll also have a better cam camera angle. So yeah.
the game. It's a red stick. So you can also see here that I'm adding some foil, um, foiled lines. I just wanted them to be like this rose gold because it's like a pinky color. I was just going all out with trying all these different things today. Um, I will say this wasn't my favorite nail set, but it was, you know, not necessarily festive, but, you know, it stood out for what it was supposed to stand out for. Then I have like these opalescent um, nail gems. And so I'm using, I have them in like a um, opal green, opal white, opal pink, and opal blue. So I'm using the opal pink, obviously, for this one. So now I'm going to go ahead and top coat these nails using my McCart top coat and yeah. So fast forward a couple days later, um, I'm setting up my phone on my new uh, tripod thing for filming when I do like my nails and stuff. Um, so if it's shaky a little bit, I think it's because my fan was on the table so it was like the vibration. But right here you can see that I'm redoing these petals and I've gotten a bit of a better technique. 
So for this one, I'm making the petals a little smaller and then just really trying to drag them out and create the type of petals that I want. So I did like one three petal flower and then one four petal flower. Honestly, I think this is just something that I had to keep practicing. If you saw in the background of the last video, I had like the tips that I cut off of these nails. I was practicing petals on that. So yeah, I'm just redoing the petals and the stones that I had taken off the last one I actually used to be the center of my petals for this one this time around. Um, so I do think that the more you practice, the better you get with them. And mine still aren't perfect, but they're better than that big one that I had on there for sure. We reapplied the top coat and just um, you know I use the same McCart top coat that I used before and now I'm just oiling up these cuticles because they have really taken the beat and they are definitely the real MVP these nails are very extra um, but yeah I really did like this set this is probably my fourth or fifth time doing acrylic like ever and I think the more I practice the better I'll get and I absolutely love it I love how they're not too thick they look really good I'm just in love with it so I'm just gonna go ahead and moisturize my hands because I don't know about you but messing with anything with my nails makes my hands feel so dry but this is what they look like they're really pretty they're, they're really extra <laughs> yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video please make sure to like share subscribe to my channel and yeah bye bye